Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I love to read. Yes, I changed the title again because I really didn't like the I love to read it with me. I like read it with me, but I didn't like them together. I just got tired of it. So anyway, um, again, thanks. Welcome back to my channel. And OK, I didn't really do what I said I wasn't going to do, which was not buy any more books in May. But I did because I got in a coupon from Barnes & Noble, 20% uh, off on my email. So I'm like, yes. I'll, and plus, I had to use it before the 20th was the last day of May. So I just went ahead and went and bought this book. And because of that, I also went to Dollar Tree. Well, I had to go to Dollar Tree anyway. But then I saw some more books. So I picked them up. So, oh, well. Anyway, here we go. Thanks. Um, I'm going to get started. Okay, so this is my first purchase and only purchase at Barnes & Noble. Joe Hill, The Fireman. I love the book. I already started reading it. Um, that's it there. And then you have to look at this. Look at that. Um, that's the publishers. Here's the spine. And then inside, it's just really pretty. It's just plain, and I like that. But then you open this up, and you have the picture of the fire. Then you go in here, you have that, and then you go in here. Look, it's beautiful. I don't know. I love it. The story just starts off so well. Um, it's a really good quick read. Oh, I think this is cute. And he looks just, sorry, looks just like his dad. What do you think? Yeah, so anyway. Okay, so I only bought just this one book. I did really well. I did look at other books. But I told myself, you're only here for one book, just one. So I did that. Um, here's what I did at the Dollar Tree. I bought a cookbook called Potatoes, um, a country garden cookbook. I love potatoes, mashed, uh, uh, what, fried, whatever. I love it. Um, it looks like it's a really pretty book. I haven't opened up the cover, the book yet, so, um, maybe I will later, but I haven't done it yet. I know what I failed to do, and I'm so sorry. That's why I returned back to the fireman, which was tell you the synopsis of the story, so far as I know it. Um, I don't know. It must be contemporary um, horror, and it's about uh, this plague that came. They don't know how it came. It's, they call it Dragon Scale, but the name of it is Draco and Sidia trico phyton and anyway it's blowing it's burning people up um and starts out black and gold and then you know they're done but anyway it goes this nurse she finally gets the disease and where i'm at her husband is angry because he has it now but she's pregnant and then there's this fireman uh or a man who walks around i guess is a fireman walks around in a dirty filthy fireman's uniform and um anyway i guess he writes the wrongs that others are doing because right now there's a mob going on who's destroying people even if they suspect they might have this dragon scale um anyway it's a good read so far so i'm enjoying it okay also back to dollar tree um purchases i bought this one last to die rizzoli in, in isles um by tess gerritsen so the, okay i know this is a series and see there i've never watched the tv show but it's on tnt and i kept seeing this book though so i thought you know let me give it a go and if i like it then i can watch it um Here's another book they made into a movie, A Most Wanted Man, which I have wanted to see it. Um, I know they still sell them in bookstores. I've seen a Barnes and Nobles for 
full price of uh what the heck anyway i know it's expensive and i got it for a dollar at the dollar tree i would just like to also add that i am not a ya reader not saying that other people um there's something wrong with it i should say it isn't just i never knew there was a distinction i've always read adult novels since like i said i was nine years old not pornography adult novels like horror um, mystery thriller suspense uh, autobiographies that type of thing so when i discovered that it was uh the first one i read was hunger games when it first came out and that was because the school i worked at high school um the vice principal was in their book club and he told me about it. And I'm like to myself, why is he reading a kid's book? But when I read it, I'm like, oh, OK, because he talked it up so well. I'm like, wow, this is interesting. So that's when I kind of started. But I only read YA books if it's really, really interesting um, or, you know, the title grabs me and I read the flap information, then I'll read it. But, you know, I mean, it's OK to branch out. But I just wanted to let everyone know I'm that's if you expect to see that on my channel, you won't see it a whole lot because I really don't do that. Um, I don't know, but to others who do more power to you. I mean, that's your read. So cool. All right. On to the next book. That was my PSA. <laughs> a lot of these books, too, are cover buys first and then I read the back, the inside flap. Um, the Big Crowd, a novel by Kevin Baker. Uh, I don't know. I know it's fiction. I think it's supposed to be real. I mean, <laughs> what am I saying real? Well, true story. I don't know. Anyway, it seemed interesting. I'm going to go pretty fast, too, because I don't want what happened last time to happen again. This is Icons by Margaret Stoll. I think it's uh, adult horror. Um, your heart beats only with their permission. So I think it has something to do with aliens. Close Your Eyes, a novel by Iris and Roy Johansson, um, husband and wife team. Um, yeah, so it seemed interesting. And it's a, what, psychological thriller? I believe that's what that is. A Working Theory of Love by Scott Hutchins. This book is really, oh, it feels so nice. This is fine, but it's, I love that, like, suede feeling that these books have. So, yeah. Um, from what I understand, um, the man's father was some type of computer programmer, something like that. Anyway, I know what to do with computers. He built something. It's supposed to be like this genius, and his father died, and he left this, uh, journal and his son used that to get this job and in it as he's programming um because he's really not a programmer but he's able to use his father's book to get this job to be a programmer his father leaves him messages in the book anyway it's about life love of the a father and what the son is going through and um it seemed interesting but i just love the feel of the book the last book I have is Possibility Dogs um, by Susanna Charlson, and it's about uh, dogs that people have adopted. Um, either uh, they found on the street or in shelters, whatever, and turned them into rescue dogs. And um, dogs uh, just to help people with their healing. Um, so anyway, here it is. It seemed interesting, and I, uh, here's the back cover. And here's some blurbs from others. But anyway, that's it. So, oh, one more thing. Blue. I love blue. My favorite color. Um, are there any pictures in this book? It was I just saw one. I won't go so fast. Uh, there we go. Oh, cute. Oh, is that Chihuahua? I don't know. It 
It's Misty the Happy Extrovert. So anyway, all these cute... Okay, I'm going to love this book because I have dogs anyway. I have a chihuahua. See, I have a chihuahua. Hi, Shadow. Say hi. Okay, well, that's it. So thank you for watching my channel. And I did that quickly. But as I said um, before, I'm not a YA reader. So if that's what you're looking for exclusively, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, I'll pick some up and I'll read them. And, um, and I'll share it with you. So anything else? No. Um, thank you. And uh, any reviews I'll do, it'll be on my Goodreads channel, which is the same. I love to read. And um, I started a blog. Still trying to figure that thing out on WordPress. I have two on there, but I did one for books. And on WordPress, the same thing. I love to read. And then my Instagram, I love to read. So, um, not very creative, is it? But anyway, thanks so much. Have a blessed day. Get out, enjoy the day as always, as I've said, bring a good book to read and I'll um, be back again. When I get my coupon from Barnes and Noble, I'm going to get Stephen King's book. So just be ready for that. And I'll probably buy something else because I want to save money to buy um, some more books at a thrift store. Get more value out of my money for that. Thanks again. Have a blessed day. Ciao.